EFRAG has now published our final comment letter on the ISB's discussion paper Financial Instruments with Characteristics of Equity, or FICE. We've also published our feedback statement, which summarises the comments received on our draft comment letter and explains how they've been incorporated in reaching our final position. So as you might recall, the ISB's discussion paper, published in June 2018, sets out the ISB's preferred view on how to classify instruments as liabilities or equity in the future. Compared to today's standard IS32, it's intended to provide a clearer articulation and address some of the practical and conceptual challenges, but without causing wholesale changes in classification outcomes. Now, a Fred's draft comment letter called for a careful weighing up of the relative benefits of a clearer articulation against the risks of costs and disruption arising from a new model with new terminology. In the last several months, after extensive further discussion and after listening carefully to our constituents, our final position is that we do not support the ISB's preferred approach to classification. In our judgment, the expected benefits are unlikely to be to justify the anticipated costs and related risks. That said, we do acknowledge that there are some challenges with IS32 and we do believe that some of the guidance proposed in the ISB's discussion paper could be used as part of a more targeted approach to improving IS32. We also identify some potential disclosure improvements and some topics that we think need some further discussion and development. So overall, our final position is very closely aligned with the views of the majority of our constituents and we received a great deal of feedback during this process. So I'm very grateful to all those who responded to our draft comment letter, who attended one of our many outreach events, or who participated in one of our surveys. And we also appreciate the ISB's efforts to uh, address the challenges in this very important area. On EFRAG's part, this now brings a particular chapter in our work to a close, but we will carry on working to achieve necessary improvements to IS32, but in a way that does not impose undue burdens on European constituents. Thank you very much.